Well, we got a couple of options to start. I'm thinking I'm going to start with that small spot right there. For those of you who don't usually watch my videos, every city creek like this can pretty much tell a really good story about what went on in the town as long as the creek was here when the town was built. And hopefully, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. The sunny spots make it easiest for y'all to see, so. So let me see. This is actually going to be an Olympic sport one day. It's called swishing, as many of you already know. That is some seriously cold water. So I'll start off with first getting all the big stuff out. Looks like I should have brought my crack scratcher, but we'll use that now. As long as I don't shove it through my finger. Sometimes stuff comes out right off the bat. Now remember, this is an inner city creek, so it's going to be full of uh, nails, possibly razor blades. If you can think of it, it's probably been thrown in a creek. I do have a magnet, in case that's what you're thinking right now. You can't get discouraged right off the bat. See, that looks like a coin, but it's not. This is usually a hot summer activity. Man, I wish the sun was on the other side. Yeah, I should have brought my crack scratcher. So let's try right here. I do not see a single coin in there. Maybe we've done this crack before. I don't know. Even little tiny spots like this. Yeah, I figured out where brass industry was, where steel industry was, where sewing industry was. All kind of different places by doing this. And yeah, I could Google it and get on maps. This is so much more fun. To me anyway. That is a piece of steel slag type knockout stuff. So we got one more opportunity here for a coin. In that little spot. I 
Nothing. So that means we're gonna go right here. To the large hole. Once the waves die down, after I mess with it, you can see real good. And real well. There's always a piece of Twiliana in here. That was actually kind of nice looking. It's Americana Twiliana. Yes. I have stuck things in my fingers before. Only one requiring a surgical procedure. Goodness, we haven't even found a corn yet. We're down to the black, that's good though. Because once you reach it, you're down to the base under these rocks. When these original rocks were laid over 100 years ago, there was wood underneath. I found it in a lot of spots right in here. And it's all rotted and turned black. Okay, let the water settle. It's like focusing your TV. Don't leave yet, hang on. Now you can see. Now we're getting down to the early nails square nails Okay, there's a big old piece of brass or something. Or a gold ring. That's what it's gonna be. What is that? A piece of brass. Who harvest that? Try to move all this over here so we can get in this corner where everything fell originally.
I've never done this right here before. I'm kind of seeing it's a little different spot. Once you sit in one spot and do this a lot, we found we have found coins and rings and nails, and we'll spread all this out when we get done and see if we missed anything. But put it all up on the uh, ledge. I am kind of surprised we have not found a single. Even a single library scent yet. I'm a professional. Oh, that does go deeper though. When you get down in the red mud, look, you get into the thicker glass. you're thinking. Master ain't gonna find anything. May not today. We might. God, this one's deep hole. I got all this stuff in my pockets, like my phone and my keys and my wallet, and it's making it hard to completely fold up my body to get my face in there. I gotta do some rearranging. Okay, I've rearranged the nomenclature. Well, let's stop for a second and let it clear out. And just look. Really need to spread all this and let it start sifting itself out. Maybe we'll just drag it up there and let it sift itself. I found a thing. I spread all this. Uh, stop and look you don't have to listen let them listen to Okay, key. See, that's an old key. That's a good start, because I love keys. Oh, that's awesome. 
Wait right there. I haven't been right here before. I would already own that key. Maybe not. Because there are a lot of new things here. Every time a storm comes through. There's a coin. No, it ain't. How you gonna do that to me? We'll find one, hold on. It's kind of like metal detecting, but you don't use a metal detector. And you're in a creek. It's getting so deep. You might have a hard time seeing so. Seeing so. Massive hunk of melted gold from the gold rush. It looks like gold, don't it? But it's probably just brass. The key is brass. Let's look at the differences. Maybe it is gold. There's a piece of a. Who knows? So once you stop and just sit and look, see I see what looks like a needle right there. That looks like a big coin, but it's not, it's a rock. And that's what the hole looks like with no swishing. This is actually a piece of glass. It's not a needle. This is a city creek, so it's not a play creek. So I'm not here to clean it out. That is an old straight nail. I mean, square head. You gotta get all the hundred-year-old black stuff out of there. Piece of copper wire. Let's see what's on the other end. Nothing. Clean as a whistle, though, isn't it? I 
That's like a coin in the side. It's not. That's my seat. I'm gonna move it closer. Every time I come out and play like this, I tell myself, don't eat before I go. Because all my folding parts don't fold when I fill up. I think I just tore her hole in my pants. There it is. That's an old coin. I think that is a V nickel. Pretty thick. There it is. I told you. No, it may be a knockout. It is, oh my goodness. I've been had and mistreated and violated and prosecuted, persecuted. Plagiarized Presbyterian eyes. I don't even want that. That's tastes like an inner city creek. Man, I got. We're gonna move it over there so we don't do that again. You can break the ledges off, and there are coins stuck in them sometimes. Like that is the reason I got so cray cray on a hey hey. That looks like a uh, torture device, don't it? I better not break that up in little pieces. Push it hard. And we'll see what it looks like in a minute. I did find a gun, remember? Doing this. And it was old, 1930s or so. Turned out to be a rubber toy gun. But it sure enough looked real. Y'all remember that? I know what you're thinking, a sifter. I gotta climb down the banks of these things and then get in the water and then walk a pretty good way so hauling a bunch of stuff is not my style plus when I find something I think man I'll work to get that joker that one library set I don't know, see a single coin in there. A silver one will shine bright like a diamond. Even when it's been here a long time.
I can see the hole there now. I gotta get a new spot. This is killing my back. I didn't wear my waders because I didn't put them on. So what I'm gonna do is spread all this out, take a break, let it all settle down in there, and then we'll start up. Okay, spread it out, we'll let it all settle. Oh, we need one corn, right? To show that, yeah, that, that technique does work. It is going, for sure gonna be an Olympic sport. I want to put my knee in there and stick my arm down there, but I cannot because if I'm breathing hard because there's a lot of air going in and out of my body. And it makes noises. And I'm laying over in this hole. I am going out, yo. Trying to get my arm down in there. But you can see, this is me. Yeah, there's not a coin in there. Okay, I gotta clean this little bank off right here. Have to get that out of the way. Then we're gonna look in this edge. Because when the hole first opened, it started filling up with all the old stuff. Then it filled up with the newer stuff. Then it filled up with the newer stuff and newer, newer, newer. And then. It started decomposing into one thing, which is a pile like this. Problem is, there's sharp things sticking out of these ledges. So if I can grab that, there it is. There should be a coin in here. There's not. There should be a coin in here. What is that? It's a piece of whatever this thing is. I want to see though. I want to see better than I'm seeing right now. Oh, that's a piece of brass.
let it settle a little bit. I want you to be able to see. That looks like an El Largo Boleto. Look at that beast. What is that, 45? What do you think? UMC. Okay, we're gonna clean this off. I gotta know how old it is. What does it say? It says this may be my oldest pistol round ever. Clean it off other than Civil War. REM UMC. Now I've got an REM UMC 30 caliber rifle. This is old. But I can't see the bottom. Okay, we're going to set it to the side. We'll look it up before we get done. See, it's worth it. When people walk by and wonder what you're doing, you just smile and wave. Act like you don't speak and see Deutsch and you'll be good. Okay, I see, I think I see the edge of a coin. No, I don't. That is a nail. Now oh, we gotta get deeper. I know what you're thinking, dude. You get a shovel. I don't want shovels. Just kidding. There's another piece of knockout thing. Let's let it clear up. Alright, it's looking better. We may wrap this up soon. It's almost too deep to even sit right here and stick my arm to the bottom. But if I just get up and stretch it out every now and then. One coin, that's all we need. More hunks of gold, we're not worried about that. There's a hunk of gold with something written on it. Something else we gotta clean up. Maybe that's a, oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a coin. What is that? That is a piece of wood. Look at that. Doesn't float. Okay, we're almost to the bottom. When we come back here the next time, we will go underwater.
We're gonna go through all the, uh, what is it called? Our pay dirt too, here in a minute. Spread it out while that percolates. Okay, let's look. Let's get down here and stop for a minute and look. Can you see okay? I'm having a little bit of difficulty. I can't tell what's better for you. Okay, one more look. I know, it's hard to just walk away, isn't it? Let's let it settle down. Yeah, I'm done. Let's get our few things and go check them out. Actually, before we leave, let's pick around in here. We're gonna get here pretty quick. Then we'll pop out the other side. We'll see what's new. I know you can't see real well. The only thing I gotta see is the top, so I don't bash my melon. I do have a permanent dent in the top of my head where I hit my head going under bridges all the time. Wow, we've muddied it up down here. Fish are doing fine. I don't see anything. It needs to be picked up yet. This is where we used to swish. Right here. And it's all concrete now. Several call trips come out of that spot right there. So now, we've got to wait another hundred years and we come out down here and do it again. All right, let's go. All right, here it is. I can't read that something. It is stamped USA, but I don't know what it says. This 45 REM UMC 45 ACP is, from what I gather, about 1918. So that is about a 100-year-old bullet, which is about perfect for this creek. This is a broken key. 
that is soaking wet I just cleaned my hands so anyway that's just as cool to me as a coin thanks for watching my videos